Well, none of the family of Stephen Clark speaking out overnight after the district attorney said the two officers involved in his shooting will not be criminally charged. Family members and their supporters promising their fight for justice is not over. ABC's Zachary Keish has more. Our duty to fight for freedom. Demonstrators say they want justice, but the district attorney is saying it wasn't a crime. Show me your hands. Good, good, good. This morning, no criminal charges for two officers who shot and killed Stefan Clark, an unarmed black man, last year in Sacramento. Was a crime committed, but when we look at the facts and the law, and we follow our ethical responsibilities, the answer to that question is no. March 18th, 2018, cops Police. responding to a vandalism call. Police helicopters already hovering above begin to zero in and track Clark. Officers on the ground confronting the 22-year-old in a backyard, later determined to be his grandparents' home. The officers arguing they thought the cell phone in his hand was a gun. Something in his hands, it looked like a gun from our perspective. Shooting and killing the father of two. The investigation found officers muted their body cameras multiple times and waited about seven minutes before performing CPR. We can't go over there to get you help unless we know you're, you don't have the weapon. No uh, no. The DA says Clark ignored commands and took a shooting stance, so the cops were justified. The Sacramento police chief apologizing to the Clark family. I couldn't imagine um, the pain that they're in. Stephen Clark's mother devastated by the announcement. They executed my son. They executed him in my mom's backyard. We're not going to accept that. And Clark's fiance <laughs> fighting back tears. My boys, Aiden and Cairo have to grow up without their father <laughs> and I have to continue on as a single parent. The shooting Black led to protests matter. on the street Black Black and disruptions in local government. While the DA's decision is final, the Sacramento mayor says the community still has its own questions about whether Clark's killing was justified. Was the outcome wrong? Was the outcome unacceptable? The answer to both questions is yes. The attorney general is doing their own review completely separate from the district attorney. Now Sacramento's police chief said yesterday changes have been made as a result of this case to foot pursuit and body camera policies, but still no real changes to the use of force policies uh, that continue to disproportionately affect uh, these communities of color. Zachary Keish, we appreciate your reporting this morning. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.